Thank you for visiting Best Bible Commentaries. In this video, I would like to show you one of the most well-reviewed Mark commentaries available today. It is found in the Pillar New Testament Commentary series, and the author of this volume is James Edwards. Before I tell you a little bit more about this volume, I'd like to point out that James R. Edwards also wrote the Luke volume to, in the Pillar series. Uh, so you might have seen this before. This is a, re this is a newer release. This was the, the first one. Um, James R. Edwards, you might be familiar with him because um, this his Romans commentary has been well-reviewed. Um, this is the old branding. It used to be in the series called the New International Biblical Commentary Series. This has been rebranded as the Understanding the Bible Commentary Series. Nevertheless, the content is the same, and his work on Romans uh, in this series has been very well-reviewed. Back to the Mark volume. Um, Edwards, one of the strong points, um, according to reviews for this commentary series, this commentary volume, is how Edwards discusses the Synoptic Gospels, which was his at surprising because it's a commentary on Mark and the synoptics are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And so he discusses not only Mark, but when appropriate, he will uh, bring in passages on Matthew and Luke to help um, to help interpret and understand um, the passages that the passages in Mark's gospel. So um, it is a commentary on Mark, but you also get insights from the other synoptics, and that's one of the strengths of this volume, uh, according to, to reviewers. If you're not familiar with the Pillar New Testament commentary series, it's edited by New Testament scholar uh, D.A. Carson. So the, the series is broadly evangelical, and when writers discuss matters of um, modern biblical scholarship, though they will come to uh, conservative theological conclusions. Uh, one of the focuses of the Pillar series is uh, theological reflection. And so um, that's included um, in the commentary, in the, in the main body of the commentary itself. Now, it's, it's not necessarily a focus of a commentary to um, exegete the Greek text itself. So there's, there's, uh, not a lot of Greek in the main section of the commentary. Um, when Greek does come up in discussion, and it does, uh, the words are transliterated. So it's not Greek characters, it's English characters. So even if you don't know Greek, you can pronounce the English because it's English uh, letters. If you're interested in the Greek, you're interested in um, the manuscripts, and you're interested in the, the notations on recent biblical scholarship, those are found in the footnotes. So um, this this volume and this entire series does provide that, that um, depth of information, but it's, it's for the footnotes. I, I would suspect that a lot of pastors will spend most of their time in the in the main uh, body uh, of the commentary, which focuses on um, the foundational exegetical matters related to a passage. Um, again, the theological matters. Um, its uh, application uh, per se is not necessarily a focus of of the series. Um, but uh, nevertheless, for what it does focus on, the exegesis and the theology, it's a very ve well-reviewed series, and this is very well-reviewed, a very well-reviewed commentary on Mark, and many um, have reviewed it, have said it's it's among the best. Someone said, some have said, the best commentary available today on the book of Mark. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for visiting Best Bible Commentaries.